Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you my four tips on how to organize and style under your bathroom cabinet. So let's get started. Okay, friends, so under the bathroom sink, it's challenging for a lot of folks. One, you may live in a small space and not have much space, but need to maximize it. Or you may have a lot of open space and it you know, really can become a cluttered mess if you don't have it organized well so that it just does not become a dumping ground for all of those products that we tend to buy. So I thought it would be great to put this information in one video in case you're struggling with this space. So I hope you can find this helpful. So let's jump into the first tip, the first way to organize under your bathroom cabinet. So friends, the first option that I wanna share is one that I actually did recently in our master bathroom. Many of you know that we uh, recently made over this space and so it, I had an opportunity to reorganize under the cabinet because it did not function. One, originally this cabinet did not have shelving. So it was one big open square, which meant you could just kind of pile things in. Things would become a cluttered mess. Because it didn't have a shelf, you couldn't maximize that vertical space and it really was not user friendly. And I know a lot of our bathrooms also have this kind of setup. So one tip is to install a shelf that can be huge. And that's what we did here. We just kind of, Mike installed a shelf in so that we could have, um, we could really maximize the space. And you want to, and, and actually the technique here is to use bins. And why I chose to use bins is because it gave us the opportunity to categorize our things as, you know, him and her. So I have the ivory color bins. He has the gray. They're each on our side and one's for oral care, one's for body care, um, and then um, one's for hair care. And so it really helps us easily keep a bin for each type of item, along with there's no space for us to just push things under the cabinet. So it really gives us limits. So this really works for how we live. You'll notice that we have caddies. We have those rotating caddies on each side. And what those caddies are, those are what we use to put our everyday items. So we lift the caddy up when we get ready in the morning and it has everything that we need to get ready during the week. And this just keeps things simple. We're not having to dig in a drawer for this or dig in a drawer for that. Everything we need for our everyday look is in these caddies. And I did a video, I recently put out a video on how I organize mics. And so I'll link that video below also. I have not done one on mine, but I plan to do one soon. So let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing that because I would love to share that and I plan to share it. Um, but this really helps us function well. So all the supplies that we have, we easily can get to them because they're categorized. And so in the drawers, because you know we have drawers in the center. And so what I utilize those for, and if you have drawers in the center, think about for both people. So if you have a, a dual vanity, think about both you know, people and having this so that it functions for both of you because it's center. So one in the center drawer, that's where we have all of the disposable, such as the Q-tips and the cotton balls and the things that we use as we're getting ready. It's easy because we can pull the drawer out and both of us can access that, that stuff. I can easily see when it needs to be filled. The little um, containers here I got from Target, very budget friendly. I think they were a couple dollars, so they're really budget friendly. The top drawer here, this is where I keep our toothpaste. Now we keep our toothbrushes on the counter and I do have, um, we have covers for the um, brush part. You'll, you can, might not, you may not be able to see them, but they're little acrylic co covers. But actually, I just recently ordered some um, containers that are meant for the toothbrushes and I'll show those to you on Instagram. So if you're not on my Instagram at home with Nikki, go check me out over there so that you can kind of see that when that comes out. But basically it just keeps it easy. It makes it easy by using the drawers for kind of a dual purpose for items for both of us. And then the bottom drawer, of course, we use for all of our electronics, like the chargers for our toothbrush, the chargers for our um, facial brush and, and different things like that. Okay friends, so now let's move into the second method for organizing under your bathroom sink. And I like to call this the grocery store method. So if you imagine a grocery store, if they had all of their products and they simply just put them on the shelves when they came in and they didn't bother to kind of line them up, they would not have enough space in the grocery store. Well, this is the same concept with under your sink. So, you know, if you line your items up by like categories, you have 
way more space than you can think of. Along with one, it doesn't really require you to buy any organizational tools. So if you want really a totally free way to organize under your sink, take everything out, categorize it by like items, all shampoos together, all hair oils together, all uh, hairsprays together, all mouthwash together. And once you have them in the different categories, then line them up in a line as, sit, as if they're sitting on a grocery store shelf. This way you know exactly how much you have, it's easy to get to, you maximize the space, and it's really just a neat way to organize without having to invest in any type of organizational products. Now we'll say, if you want to use the grocery store method, but you want it to be very beautiful, you know, invest in some cute little trays. It's nice to sit them on some very um, kind of rectangular trays and it really just gives it a, a beautiful look. Um, or you can get kind of narrow baskets and that really can give it a beautiful look also. Okay, so the third method is really popular. I hear a lot of you love this method. And I've shared this um, a, a year or two, maybe a while back, in my uh, business office we did this. And it's basically by using magazine holders. Now this slightly mimics the grocery store method, but it's just a way to more so conceal your things. So say you have a powder room that has a cabinet and you don't necessarily want you know someone seeing the products or you don't even want to see the products. This is a great way to easily get to your things but conceal them. So what you want to do is you want to get magazine, these magazine style holders. They really have some beautiful ones out that can be in metal, some decorative metal ones. Um, you can have all white ones. You can even get them in different colors. This could be really fun to do in a kid's bathroom because you can have a color for each kid, you know, have a magazine holder in different colors and each one has their products in their color. But why this works so well is because it's great for those tall bottles such as shampoo and hairspray and brush hair brushes and all of those things so you really can fit things in and it corrals them very neatly so it keeps things from getting out of order and again going back to kids because you want it so that they really don't have space to push things in the cabinet this makes it so that they really can't put any items in on you, you notice on one side the toilet paper is accessible because that's a go-to item and then everything else is really in its categories and you can't put anything else in so this would really be ideal um, for kids or uh, uh, for that, that messy family member where you don't want them really having the ability to kind of stuff things under the cabinet. Okay, so my very last method is for my friends out there that you don't necessarily have a cabinet, but you have drawers. And so in one of my guests, um, in my, and not one, I only have one guest bathroom. In that bathroom, I do have drawers. So it's not really under cabinet, it's more so drawers now. And so what you wanna do when you have drawers is you wanna do kind of the face up method where when you open the drawer, everything looks up at you. That way you don't have to have dig through the drawers. That way it's kind of very simple when you open it so you want to make it so that your the face of your drawer is when you look down in it if that makes sense so if you have lotions you want them kind of face up so you see the lotions if you have um towels you want to roll them up so that you can clearly see all of your towels um the same thing with um the toilet paper. So you basically want to open the drawer and be able to easily see everything in the drawer and give everything a section. So that is important. So they have kind of um, drawer dividers, but if you haven't gone to my Amazon store, I link all the items that I kind of have in my home and things that I love in my Amazon store. So I'll link that below. So I'll put some, and in fact, they're already in there, some dividers for drawers that are great when you're trying to organize a drawer system because sometimes that can be challenging um, and especially challenging to keep orderly. So in order, I have found the best way is to kind of put the dividers in, keep them in categories, and make sure everything is so that it faces up towards you. So friends, I hope that you enjoyed these four tips on how to organize under your bathroom sink. I would love to bring more videos like this where I kind of show you a variety of ways to organize different spaces in your home. Let me know if that interests you because I thought that would be kind of a fun concept um, as far as some things to share. And really, I hope that it can be helpful. Definitely, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you as a part of the At Home with Nikki family. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button for me. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.